In a few days from now, Modi 2.0 led government is going to present its full budget. Automotive industry is relying a lot on this because this is one of the toughest times for Indian automobile industry while the global economic cues are also not positive. We are almost in a situation of global trade war. But not only this, back at home, the Indian manufacturers are also not on the same plate. If you talk about lowering of GST, the country's largest car maker, Maruti Suzuki, has different opinion. They say that they don't need really any cut on GST, while rest of the manufacturers continue to strongly demand for a lower GST. When it comes to electric vehicle again, the existing or larger traditional players continue to demand that they want more time to bring electric vehicles while new age manufacturers and startups have different opinion they say they are ready to roll on amidst this if you talk about challenge the biggest challenge that the government has to deal with is the rural economy which has been on a slide for a long time that has really disrupted demand for automobiles and we have seen how the sales has been going down and many manufacturers have been forced to close down their shops other major challenge the government would face is to create jobs for urban population because we have seen a major drop in urban market as well for automobile demands apart from that we see there's another major problem that is going to come because the lenders are going to tighten their news in terms of providing financial support to their automobile uh, stakeholders that like dealers the government needs to work on that as well in such a scenario, here are some major demands that the industry looks forward to. First, two-wheeler industry is going through a very bad phase. It has huge inventory piled up at the factory as well as dealership. The industry is demanding that the GST should be lowered to 18%, which is right now 28%, almost at par with luxury goods. But two-wheeler is no more luxury goods. That's what the industry says. Apart from that, the country wants to move to electrification or a completely electrified fleet or a substantial number of electric vehicles should be on the road, then they demand that the GST on this should be lowered to 5% from current 12%. Apart from that, we have seen that recently GST committee has sent proposal of reducing GST on electric vehicle to 5% and charges to 12% from 18%. Let's see if this works out. This will be a great move for the industry. The second demand that the industry is looking forward to is they want more time. They don't think by 2030 they'll be able to achieve 100% electrification. Even 30% seems very difficult. So there is a big difference of opinion when it comes to government and the industry that has to be bridged if we really want to speed up this process. Apart from that, industry will look forward to is uh, increase of custom duty on commercial vehicle. Currently it is about 25%. This will encourage local manufacturing and make in India, that's what they say. But there could be a repercussion as we have seen how Donald Trump has been time and again talking about reducing a tax on import of tubular, luxury tubular in India. How much government can do that we have to see. The other thing that the industry is looking forward to is increased encouragement for R&D. There's a weighted deduction on R&D which was reduced to 150% that the industry might look forward to be restored at 200%. Apart from that, in order to bring you know, new vehicles on the road and fight pollution, the industry is also looking forward to immediate action around scrappage policy. However, we have seen in the recent GST council meeting and uh, there has been in other meetings, the government has decided to increase the registration cost of vehicles older than 15 or 10 years uh, depending on the fuel. But how much that can play a role that we have to see.